Hello there. Uh, this video will be talking about 1.1 of microeconomics, which is scarcity, but also be serving as an introduction to basic economics and uh, the general things about the course that I want to mention. So the first question uh, I get a lot is what is economics in general? So uh, I, got, I get a lot of friends who ask me what economics is, and they always think it's math, and I always tell them it's not math. There's math involved. There's definitely math involved, and you need to remember some simple equations. But it's basically like sixth grade level math. It's not very complicated. It's just basic addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Sometimes division. It's not that complicated. You don't need to know a lot of math to do economics. You don't need to be good at math to do economics. A uh, second misconception is that economics is a study of business, and uh, while yes, you can apply some economic concepts to business. It's a completely different course. Economics is really just the social science of uh, making good decisions. It's basically just uh, minimizing uh, costs while maximizing benefits. In the, in the frame of microeconomics, that would be uh, maximizing profits for your company while minimizing the inputs and the costs it takes to produce your products. Uh, and uh, speaking of microeconomics, let me talk about uh, the difference between micro and macroeconomics. So microeconomics, uh, they focus on um, individual firms on uh, the decisions of individual firms and how it affects each uh, the market and the other firms in the market. So macroeconomics talks about the entire country's uh, economy as a whole. So macroeconomics focuses on things such as, uh, let me give, let me think of a good example. Uh, macro deals with more government policies, I'd say. That's probably one of the bigger focuses of macro. They focus on the entire economy. So basically, micro deals with firms, individual firms in the country. But then the macro can be thought about as dealing with the entire country as a whole. Uh, now on to the actual lesson of scarcity. So scarcity is the concept of unlimited wants and uh, limited uh, resources. So basically... Uh, I know it's very uh, basic, like, of course, like we, of course we have limited resources and we want everything, right? But uh, it, that's basically just what economics is. It's um, basically making the best decision, uh, making the best trade-offs to get the best things that are more worth our time and our resources. So a good example would be whether or not you go work at a, a part-time job, maybe at your local cafe, or you choose to sleep in. So the cost of working at the cafe is you miss on, on a few hours of sleep and choosing to sleep, you're losing out on the money you could have earned from going to the cafe. Uh, and obviously the, uh, the profits are the inverse of that. You, when you go work at the cafe, you get money. Uh, you, when you sleep, you, you feel better rested and you're getting those hours of sleep that you probably needed. Uh, and that brings me into my next point about economics, which is um, profits and costs aren't always number values. You can't really put a number value to like good quality sleep. That's not something you can number with. So just keep in mind that making decisions doesn't always attribute to just numbers. Like the cash can be turned into obviously is already in numbers. That's that's uh, money you can have. Uh, the worth of that cash is by the money it has, but you can't put a price to the, the how feeling well how rested how well rested you are by choosing to sleep instead of going to work uh with that that's really the end of scarcity uh the next video will be on resource allocation and economic systems uh that's all thank you for watching